Welcome to East Sussex and my allotment diary. It's been a cold week, but, but we've had some bright sunshine and there's some quite essential jobs to be done on the plot. I washed the bench again, uh, but this time I used SIF to get the stains out, which it did. And on the back it says don't use with aluminium and of course it is aluminium but it was raining and I washed it off completely and I'm quite pleased with the results it's quite shiny. These are the bolts that uh, are original with the shelfing but it, they're not very good uh, and these are what I replaced it with and these are called cable tray bolts and uh, they're a lot more efficient and they've got a built-in washer at the back which is serrated so you don't really need a spanner just a screwdriver in your fingers and you get a really tight neat job it's been raining on and off all day you can see that on the paving flags there but uh, I had to get it done and the sooner it was done I could get it to the polyton and start using it I put the top shelf upside down because I'm going to fill that with lignocyte. Uh, and then we put the strainers on which keep it all square and we can then go and put it into the polytunnel. car it went in quite easy and I took it down to the polytunnel. The polytunnel is getting a bit more organised now, it's getting a bit tidier and uh, this is the potting area and here we've got some potatoes chitting away and I've got a new mug and a kettle making the tea. You like that? Find me in the potting shed. Well it's a polytunnel really. I had a comment from Aldrin Adams via a comment I made to Nigel of Muddy Boots fame which said please still do your video on the strawberries and he gave a double thumbs up. Well there you are Aldrin, this is me pouring in the strawberries. I'd made 20 holes with the heated tin can which makes a neat hole and a, a decent size which fits the bulb planter and I took out the core so I had 20 holes, 20 cores. You may recall this is the lasagna bed that I did uh, last year and I said see you in March. Well it's next week is March. It's not looking too bad isn't the soil. The cardboard's uh, gone away and there's worms. Look there's one there. Can you see that worm? Lovely jubbly. I filled the holes with my homemade compost and planted in the strawberries. It's important when you plant the uh, strawberries that so you get the, uh, the right level. Uh, you don't want the roots sticking out as they rot and you don't want the uh, plant underneath uh, because that also rots. It's, it's just getting at the right level. I think that shows it. And there we've got all 20 in and uh, I don't know whether you could hear the rain but it had started to rain again. Next day back on the site, still having trouble with this sip. I placed a short end of 2x2 two two where the door starts and uh, cut a series of slots in the top. And then with what we used to call at work an electrician's chisel which is a screwdriver I knocked away 
the bits of wood, just clean them up with the knife and then tap it in to see if it fits and that's not a bad fit. The main posts for the door frame are put into position into this slot at the right height which is six, 5 foot 6, not 6 foot, 5 foot 6 high and the door opening is 40 inches and they were stitched at the bottom into that housing. The zip's not getting any better, in fact it's getting worse and I really must concentrate and get this door sorted out because we've got some really cold weather forecast for next week. So when I got back home I set about designing the door so I could measure up the materials and get it made. Woody's allotment had a word with me and he thought that I was doing these drawings in CAD. In actual fact it's called SketchUp. So I promised I would show him how I do the SketchUp and he's going to try and do the programme himself. What I have to say is if that you're trained in CAD you'll find this difficult because it does everything different to how CAD works. If you've never done CAD before and you're a beginner on drawing, SketchUp is the one for you. It really is easy and simple if you're doing it as a beginner. The weekend came around and I went into London and at like I always do when I go to London, I went into Wilco's and I bought some seeds and somebody said why are you buying those seeds when you can buy exactly the same seeds at the pound shop? I said I don't know and the person said well if you put that on YouTube I'll watch it and I'll copy it. I live in a block of flats and I've always wanted to grow things and I'm eight stories up in the sky and I've got no chance of a, of a garden or a, an allotment so I says right I'll buy the stuff I'll do it as simple as possible not using any other equipment and I'll call this se section doing it with Mike without any mechanics I'm using one of these cheap window boxes that they sell in the pound shop though they're more than a pound and I've filled it half with uh, lignocyte uh, because we don't want any holes in it and we'll put in some plant pots or and I thought this would be a good idea um, half a milk bottle and we'll put holes in the bottom of that and we'll grow the veg in there and you can water it without making a mess of the windowsill. Taking an empty butter packet, I filled it with the compost, just fingering it down, don't want it too firm, nice and fluffy, and then with another butter pack, just slightly tamping the surface. Taking a, a baking sieve, that, rather than buy a sieve, but a sieve that you would probably find in your kitchen. I sifted the compost to get some fine compost on the top and then I opened up the first seed packet, which was a pound. Spread it with water. I didn't put holes in the bottom because the plants aren't going to be in this tub very long. Opened up the plastic pack, made a muddy boots seed dispenser, sprinkled it over the top, and 
bit more compost on top there and then put the lid on and the job's good and all it needs now is a windowsill. This is the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, a thumbs up would be nice. Please do comment, I do like the comments. And uh, welcome to my new subscribers, I've had a few this week. And until next time, I'll say bye. Bye.